this project online book sale portal developed in asp.net c sharp and sql server uh, for this project you need to have sql server and visual studio this project basically suppose one member want to sell his book online old book or reference book he can upload details in this portal and this portal other member can search and buy this book and admin basically to approve member approve the buy sell and the payment and everything we manage by uh, that admin okay so once you buy this project you will get this uh, database script file then project folder source code everything and then installation guide project report and synopsis so first we will uh, configure our database database i will use uh, sql server 2014 you can use any version of sql So I'll first start Management Studio. So once this started, just click on Connect. Expand the tree database tree. Click a new database. Create one new database. So I'll keep the database name book cell. Whatever you want, you can use. So once this is created, just click and new query. Then we have to go again. Copy that path, the database path. File open file. Just shoot and select that delete script. Okay, so you have to change this because you get that book cell. Right? So you can change this book cell. Okay. Now this script file uh, have all the create table statement and insert statement. So it will create all the table and uh, insert records also. Once you run it, it will get all the tables, required tables. Okay. Now once it is done, you have to just configure your project folder. Then you have to just copy this path, project path, and start your Visual Studio. So you can use any version of Visual Studio. So I will use here Visual Studio 2017. You can use 15, 19, whatever you have, 12. You have to click on file and open website and paste the source code folder path. The so project will open here. Here you have to change the configuration, get other configured path. Okay. Now here you have to change data source name and data list name. Okay. Data source name, it is basically your SQL instance name. You just go property and you can just copy this box RM. So whatever in your system you have, you can just paste here. And the database name. So our database name is book cell. So it can be just copy here. Delete it. Paste it. Save this file and set default as a startup page. That's it. Okay. Now, if you want to change any text or anything, you can do the design view also, encoding also, all the things are there. So, if you want, you can change. If you want to change color or anything, you can do that also. Okay. There is a CSS file in there, you can do change here. You are going to reflect in your project. So after doing all the changes, you can just run the script. Okay, this is the project. Basically, uh, this is the book category, okay? Suppose you want to check the book category of accounting. So just select and browse category. 
will get all the books belong to this particular category. Suppose I want to book in computer, so I just select computer browse category. So these books are available, okay. Now suppose after you need to log in to buy or sell the book. So I want to sell the book, so, but you require to log in first. Okay. So then either you have the email ID password or you can registration. So I will do the registration. So I will give the registration and on it. Display and I will say on it. Question. Mumbai address city India contact number and so then update. So you have to log in with this and the default password will be one two three four five six. ऑफिसल Say computer book, so I will title it. Yes, we got my I have one book. So I want to sell it. Author, so author name is A B C D. Edition, so second edition. Right, I want to how much I want. I want five hundred rupees. Descriptions. Yes, we got my. What about description? You can type. The book details are successful. So one book is added. So now this book you cannot search. First you need to approve by admin. Okay, then only you can uh, it will be displayed. Okay. Same thing. Up. Suppose I want to now buy one book. So I will go buy book. So I want to buy a computer book. So book computer search. So I want to book this one. Or I can computer buy it. Okay. Book ID two and my name. Who is a book seller ID? Seller ID is this one. So I want to buy this. Submit. Then is the first number, but it is not approved yet. To so track your order, it is not uh, delivered. Means it is not uh, started. Okay. It is only transaction date is there. Status is processing. Okay. Now admin can update these details. Okay, so now I want to log in as admin. So I have to go here. There is a admin login is linked to here. Admin login. So you can now go to type admin. Also looking here. Okay. This is the admin page. Okay. Now approve member. So this member is logged in. So I will first I will approve him. Click and submit. Member approved. Now go back. Book. Suppose any book is added newly, so that need to be approved. So this one added by one again. So I will approve it. Okay. 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 This is the pending. Okay. Now next is. Once the book is buy by this particular member, I have to update that courier tracking POD and payment processing. So I will first payment processing to them. But there is a date so you have to just keep the date this format only. Include the so one payment process means that book is processed, which is buy uh, sell by particular person. I could be attacking to everything. This one is the same. So one transition is there. You can do this. Check this time. You will remember you can do this. You will do this. 
submit. Now, if if that member is logging now, that only catch and password is on. Now the status will change. Do my registered book now? It is approved. Okay, and it is approved book now, but it is not sold yet. Okay. Same thing. Track your order. Now, whatever this is processing, the tracking number is coming. Means that book is approved by admin, and this DHL tracking number is coming. DHL. So you can go. Actual, it will go to the DHL site. And tracking number will update it, but it is a dummy one, so it will not link actually. Okay. Now his book also listed because the book is approved. So if you go to home and say computer section, browse category, so you can find this. Maybe it is coming last this one. Yes, we are not. Yes, book is added by today, and you can see it is now approved. So this is basically uh, books for This is project basically to buy and sell book online. And any user can upload his book details. Admin can approve. And then other user can search and found that book. Then the payment will process through my admin actually. Okay. The payment gateway is not linked here. The payment uh, is uh, handling like other source of the like Google Pay or anything. You can manage that payment section. Okay. So once you buy this project, you will get all these files. Like this database spread file, and this project source folder, then do the installation by project report. You know, so everything will come to your ID, email ID. 